So today we are going to look at how to remove the steering wheel unlock, which is the thing when you remove the key that locks the steering wheel. So that means we are going to have to remove the uh, key uh, lock cylinder here. And so first thing to do is to remove that bolt at the bottom to remove the uh, plastic cover around this. Okay, so now that the uh, bottom cover is removed, we have to remove the top cover. Okay. So to remove the top cover, you have one screw here and another one just on the other side behind there. Also to get more access, remove the kick panel here. There is one screw down here. The rest is just clips at the top depending on how you did cut it on this side here. You might still have more screws but otherwise just hold with that one screw. Uh, once you have removed the, uh, the panel, remove those two bolts in here to get access to the uh, steering column bolts. So we will need to drill the two bolts here and to be able to access there we have to drop the steering column and for that there is two bolts, there is one bolt here and another one on the other side here at the end of my finger, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, and when we are gonna remove those bolts, the steering column is gonna lower, giving us access to the top bolts. Okay, so now I have removed the two bolts, the steering column has dropped down. So, a fun fact when you remove that uh, tiny uh, Phillips bolt there, after a few pull when this thing pops out actually you can just take a screwdriver and turn this and that will turn the car accessories ignition and start you don't need any key you can just take that and turn it uh, so if you look inside the barrel that's uh, what turns when you put the key in if I take the key on the other side put it in the cylinder if I find it yep. So now when I turn the key, this is what happens. That's the only thing that the key does. The thing that really starts the car is just here. So if you pop this out and just turn this, you can turn the car without a key very easily. So now I have drilled most of the uh, most of the bolts out. So to finish separating, just put a chisel in between here. Uh, to separate the two pieces. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side to uh, finish breaking it. So if you keep insisting with the prior bar eventually uh, either the bolt that I didn't properly drill here is gonna hold but the rest is gonna break off and you will be able to remove your cylinder out. So after that you just have the blue one we are gonna reuse that's the one that goes to uh, starting the car. The uh, This one here, a black one, is actually the one that does a ding 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 when you have the key in the car. So if you just want to remove the ding ding, just unplug this and you won't have the ding ding anymore. Uh, so that anyway will go. And the last one, this one, oh, that's just for the light the light for uh, this thing when the uh, um, you open the door it sends a light here so we'll disconnect that uh, black connector as well okay so once you have removed your cylinder uh, just take that out take it to the workbench and uh, you can put the uh, steering column back in by uh, reattaching those uh, two bolts here Okay, so the next step now is to uh, um, extract just that blue harness here. Just uh, cut the, uh, the zip tie that is holding it up here. And what we are going to do, we are going to cut those wires here that are for accessories, ignition and start. And wire them to one of those switches for triggering accessories, one for ignition, and one of those push start button uh, for starter. Okay, so here is what you are going to end up with. You have your original harness there. On this harness, there is 
a black and white wire. This one is gonna feed everything. Your starter, your uh, ignition switch, your accessory switch, and your ignition, ignition switch. Now, uh, there is uh, a blue and black. This one is gonna go to your accessory switch. So blue and black accessories and come back to the uh, white and black. The ignition switch here, you are gonna put together the green and blue and the just regular black. There's green and blue and just regular black. Those are together and they feed the uh, ignition switch. And then same thing returns to the uh, uh, white and black. And for the starter, there is this yellow and black that goes to one side of the switch and the other side comes back to um, the uh, uh, black and white. And so now if you want to start the car, uh, you don't even need accessories. You can start the car without accessories, but you will need ignition on. So you switch this one on and then just press the uh, momentary switch here to start the car. So now the car starts to release and the car will stay on. If you have a kill switch, uh, you will, instead of coming directly to this switch, you will send that lead to the kill switch, come back from the kill switch to here, that now this uh, ignition switch will be in series with the kill switch and when you kill the kill switch, it will also kill ignition. Uh, the uh, monetary switch here has also extra wires here if you want to have the lights working around, but I'm just using it as a switch for now, so just two wires. I recommend having, when you tap the lines here, putting male-female connectors so that in case a switch fails, you can directly connect the two switch, the two ends together to bypass the switch. We had some of those switches fail at one of the uh, rallies, so it can happen that the switch will fail and you won't be able to turn on your ignition or accessories. So make it easy for you to be able to just pull the panel and bypass the switch by connecting those connectors together. Okay, so next step is gonna just replug that to the harness of the car and then uh, do a, a neat mount in, the, uh, in your dashboard to host those buttons. So once you have testing uh, your wiring, replug the, uh, the blue connector here just root it on the side and the original harness is pretty short. The original harness will arrive about here so if you put uh, extra wire, uh, enough length you will be able to pull the whole panel out and give you enough room to work. So here is an example of a finished dash. Um, so accessory ignition button uh, push start button and the kill switch here. So give enough room in the back for the wires. I have all the leads coming to my uh, switches. Here I have the wire going to the kill switch and then going back to the ignition switch so that when I kill the kill switch, I also kills ignition. Um, and this one has extra lights here. So uh, there are extra wires in the back just to pour those lights so that uh, when the uh, light is on, uh, the, when the button is on, the light is on. But here we go, uh, kill switch on, and have accessory, uh, accessories, ignition, and then start. And then the car starts. And if I just cut ignition, cut the engine, and here, cut accessories and cut the uh, the car. And can also check that if I start the car and I just kill the kill switch, I kills everything, and the the car stops.